Assalamualaikum and have a nice day everyone. My name is Sharifah Mirla Binti Abdullah. I will introduce you what is financial mathematics. Okay, financial mathematics have a, have this basic components like arithmetic and geometric progression, simple and compound interest, nominal rate and interest and effective interest rate. And our main focus today is present value and future value. So. Our main focus today, what are we going to learn about this topic? Here, my friend is going to explain to you what is present value and future value. Pay attention. Hello everyone, so my name is Nurin Iwai Natasha. Today, I will teach you the topic of future value. The first thing you must know is the formula. Fv equal to Pv times 1 plus R to the power of t so the fv here represent the future value pv represent present value and the r here is interest rate t is the number of period so before we move to the example here are the keywords that you must remember the first the first is annually semi-annually quarterly monthly weekly and daily it's usually given in the question. In this part, I will explain to you about the interest rate. For example, given 6%, usually in every question, it will be given in percentage. And we must change it into the decimal places. And 6% will be changed to decimal equal to 0 0.06. And given semi-annually equal to 2. The formula here is rate divided by the keyword that I mentioned just now and 0 0.06 divided by 2 equal to 0 0.03 To show it more clearly the, about the semi-annually we will uh, sketch the scale like this to show it have two parts Next, I will explain to you about the T which is the number of period Here is the formula here uh, times the keywords that I mentioned just now. So, for the example, compounding monthly for five years. So, the years here is five, and here is monthly equal to 12. So, five times 12 equal to 60. So, hi, my name is Rauni Narira. So, just now, my friend Iwani already explained about future value and compounding. So now let's try some exercise about the topic. So for questions number one, suppose you invest 500 in a bank account that pays an annual interest rate 5%, what will be your future value of your investment in two years? So first, the general formula is FV equal to PV times one plus R to the power of T. And let's take out the information in the question first. PV equals to 500 and the R is 5% so R equals to 5% but we have to change it into decimal places so 5% equals to 0 0.05 for T, it says um, in 2 years. So, 2 will be your T. Let's just put it in the formula, uh, which is FV. So, the question asks you to find FV, future value. So, future value equals to uh, 500 times 0 point and times 1, sorry, times 1 plus R. R is 0 0.05 to the power of T. So our T is 2. Just put it in the formula and press your calculator and you will get RM 500 551.25 So this is going to be your future value. So let's try another question. This time around, the question asks you to find compounded interest so let's read the question first 
1000 invested at 3% per year compounded monthly for 5 years find the compound interest so it says compounded monthly when it says compounded monthly your r need to divide it by 12 because it says compounded monthly so your r will be 3% equal to 0 0.03 divided by 12 and you will get 0 0.025 so this is going to be your r so next your t when it says compounded monthly and it asks you to find compound interest so you have to time your t with 12 so our t here is 5 years so 5 will be times with 12 and you will get 60 so 60 will be your t after that just put it in the general formula as usual so fb equals to pv our pv is 10 uh, our sorry our pv is 1000 and times with 1 plus our r is 0 0.025 to the power of t and our t is 60 so let's just put it in the calculator and you will get 4,399 and 79 mind that it asks you to find the compound interest so this is not your final answer yet you have to subtract the future value with your present value so 4,399.79 will be subtracted with 1,000 and you will get 3,399.79 So this is going to be your compound interest So to strengthen our understanding, let's try to do one last question before we end our topic for today The question says invest 2000 at 12% per year Compounded semi-annually for 2 years What is the future value and find its compound interest? So the question says compounded semi-annually Compounded semi-annually means 2 times a year so you have to divide it by 2 and you have to multiple with 2 First, we have to find our R So our R here is 12% 12% equals to 0 0.1 0 0.12 And remember, it says compounded semi-annually And we have to divide it by 2 So our R will be 0 0.06 for t our t is 2 years 2 years and it said compounded semi-annually so we have to multiply it with 2 so our final t will be 4 then next we just have to put it in our formula so our present value here is 2000 So 2000 times 1 plus our R is 0 0.06 To the power of 4 Our T is 4 So we just put it in our calculator And we get our future value Which is 2524 and 95 so this is our future value The question asks you to find its compound interest So you have to find the compound interest by subtracting the future value 
with your present value. So your present value is 2000 and then you will get 524.95 as your compound interest. So that's all from me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nazila Bati Benti Zukri. For this video, I will explain to you all about what is a present value. Okay, here is the present value definition. Okay, present value or we known as a PV is a two days of money you expect from future income and is calculated as the sum of future investment return and discounted at a specific level of rate of return expectation. So we can highlight here that present value is a two days of money you expect from future in from future that's all for the um, definition for present value okay let's move to the next step which is how to find present value okay here is the formula for present value which is fv over 1 plus r to the power of t fv represent for future value r represent for interest rate and t represent for investment period Okay, to make it more clear, I already state one example to determine how to find the present value. Okay, Mr. X won 10,000 ringgit after 3 years. The interest rate available on a specific investment which he is interested in is 4%. How much he should invest today to receive, to receive the desired amount? Okay, 10,000 uh, 10, ringgit is a future value because uh, he, he said that after okay R is uh, for interest rate like my friend told before if uh, we, if it gives uh, in percent you must send it to decimal okay. T for 3 years for period, period time okay just substitute the information into the if uh, just substitute the information you get into the formula which is fv is 10000 uh, over 1 plus uh, the interest rate is 0 0.04 power of 3 and you will get rm 8000 89.96 Hi, my name is Nurul Anis Husna. Next, I will explain uh, another example to find the present value. So, the question is Suppose you will definitely receive 10,000 ringgit 3 years from today. If the banks are paying an annual interest rate of 5%, how much is 10,000 ringgit worth to you today? So from the question, there are uh, given information which is future value is 10,000 uh, Interest rate is 5% But we need to change it into decimal So we will get 0 0.05 The period is 3 years Next uh, to find the present value, we need to substitute this information into the formula. So, PV is equal to future value 10,000 over 1 plus R is 0 0.05 to the power of T. T is 3. So, we, sub, uh, we put it in the calculator and we will get... 8,638.37 Next, I will explain to you an another question to help you understand more on how to find the present value. So the question is, Rachel is applying for a scholarship currently valued at 5,000 ringgit. If he is awarded it at the end of next year, how much is the scholarship worth in today's ringgit, assuming of 3%? So in this question, there are given information. Uh, 
for future value is 5000 ringgit and the interest rate is 3% but we need to change it into decimal so we will get 0 0.03 and T, it says if he is awarded it at the end of next year, so the period is one year. Next, we have to substitute uh, this information into the formula. So PV is equal to future value is 5000 over 1 plus interest rate is 0 0.03 to the power of t t is 1 year so t is 1 and we put it in the calculator so we will get the present value is 4854 and 56 Okay, for this video, I will teach you about discount rate. Okay, here is the definition for the discount rate. The discount rate is the minimum return expected to be earned on an investment given its specific risk profile. In another word, uh, discount rate to, is to know what the implied interest rate is in an investment. Uh, to find the implied interest, rearrange the basic PV equation and so for R like this. Okay, here is the formula to find discount rate. So just now we have learned about discount rate. So next I will explain to you an example on how to find the discount rate. So the question is if the spot price for a barrel of oil is 68 ringgit and a one year futures contract for a barrel of oil is 71 ringgit, what is the implied interest rate? So the given information in this question is uh, present value is 68 ringgit and the future value is 71 ringgit and it says here a one year futures contract so the period is one year and to find the implied interest rate uh, we use this formula which is R is equal to FB over PV to the power of 1 over T minus 1. So based on this information, we have to substitute it into this formula. So R is equal to FB is 71 ringgit over PV is 68 ringgit to the power of 1 over T is 1 minus 1. So we put it in the calculator and we will get the implied interest rate is 0 0.0441. But uh, for the implied interest rate, we need to change it into percent. So we will times it with 100% and we will get. The final answer is 4.41%. That's all from me. Thank you. Okay, last but not least, number of period. Okay, same as the discounting rate, uh, we will start from the basic present value equation. From this basic equation, we will rearrange the equation to become this final equation. Okay, we will look at the uh, uh, example. Okay, this is for the example of number eh, uh, number of periods. Okay, you want to purchase a new car and you're willing to pay 20000 If you can invest 10% per year, you currently have 15000 And how long it will be before you have enough money to pay cash for the car? Okay, from this question, we already know the future value and present value. Future value is 20,000. Why? Because this is the price of the car. Okay, and the present value, you currently have 50,000 only. So, how long 
it will be you need to invest with this 10% per year uh, the rate so you can able to have enough money to pay the cash for the car okay from the equation we need to we need to find the the periods you the periods you need to have enough money so this is the equation loan fd per pv divided by loan one plus r so the present uh, the future value is And the present value is fifteen thousand divide by one plus the rate is zero point one. If you uh, have your calculator, you will get the answer estimate three. So this means you have three years to invest to have enough money to pay for the cash that's all from me so as you can see those topics are not very are not that very hard you can search from all the websites another exercises to help your understanding with all the examples given to you all uh, just now uh, you can uh, help your understanding to understand the financial mathematics uh, especially for the future and present value so enjoy this video thank you